could not even bring myself to enter my son's room. zu essen, Papa. Hat Lotti dir im Krieg geholfen, Papa? Ist Lotti eine deutsche Katze, Papa? Was hat sie in Frankreich gemacht? Meinst du, ich kann auch mal in den Krieg, Papa? Ich will auch gegen den Feind kämpfen. Wie du? Ich möchte eine große Scheibe, Papa. Es tut mir leid, Liebes. Dieses Stück Brot muss lange reichen. Ich habe solchen Hunger, Papa. Wenn wir den Krieg gewinnen, gibt es dann wieder Essen? Was hältst du von dem Namen Lotti, Papa? Passt er zu ihr? Mama hat gesagt, du hättest im Schlaf geschrieben. Warst du immer noch an der Flugmaschine? Können wir Lotti für immer behalten? Danke, Papa. Du hast mir gefehlt. Guten Morgen, Kurt. Ich habe Dr. Siegfrieds Stethoskop aus dem Dorf mitgebracht. Für Luzi. Luzi, hast du dein Brot gegessen? Wir brauchen Feuerholz, Kurt. Wir brauchen frisches Wasser aus dem Brunnen, Kurt. Holst du bitte etwas? Things were different at home. Weird. We have all changed up here. Maybe it was Lucy's illness. Maybe it was the war. But I never mentioned Max, for I could not speak of my failure. Could, but we remained hungry. Hello. 
remember that little girl so clearly. She was alone. And she was hungry. I couldn't just leave her. Maybe the adults on board could spare a little food. Let's master here. Man hört so einiges. Alles Mörder. Ich fürchte, die Briten haben Verstärkung für ihre Luftwaffe. Trotz des Roten Barons. Ach, jetzt so ohne Russland kann niemand die Deutschen auffallen. Mag sein. Den letzten Monat haben wir Ostende ganz gut gehalten. Hoffentlich hast du recht. Ob es im Dorf wohl mehr Lebensmittel gibt? Tja, ich habe Greta gebeten, uns eine Brotration aufzuheben. Wir könnten daraus Suppe kochen. Vielleicht reicht die sogar für alle. Hör mal, aber sag's nicht weiter. Ich habe etwas Fleisch versteckt. Hast du es dabei? Still. Wir essen es später, sobald wir zu Hause sind. Whoever that chocolate belonged to, they'd be happy to feed a starving child. Or, that's what I told myself anyway. Ich hab dir nichts zu sagen. Oh, danke für die Schokolade. And for some reason, it reminded me of the man whose life I accidentally, the man I accidentally sent Allied intelligence to. The German and his cat. I did what I could, but Lucy remained ill. I wish I knew how to help my little girl. 
I came home to see my wife and my daughter, to spend time with my family, and yet none of us spoke. I thought I could come home from the war. I thought I could leave it behind. But I understand now, Katrin, and I'm sorry. I can never leave the war behind. The war follows me wherever I go. Sure enough, I found myself on Kurt's doorstep. I didn't know how he'd react. It's one thing being friends with the enemy in a tunnel underground, but another being friends out in the open. I needn't have worried, though. Kurt and his family were kind to me. They took me in, gave me a bed to sleep in, cooked me meals. In return, I helped out on the farm and did what I could around the house. A few days later, Kurt took me to a nearby village. There were things his family needed. Lucy, his daughter, was sick. And Germany was struggling to feed itself by that time. Everyone was hungry. So while I looked for food, Kurt looked for medicine for his little girl. Kurt trusted me with one of his ration tickets, but people weren't too friendly. Nicht für dich. Geh weiter abschauen. Mörder, hau ab! Geh weg. Mörder. Du, geh weg. Raus aus meinem Garten. Eine Essensmarke? Wir haben noch ein Leib. Nur für Sie. I finally found a loaf of bread. Food for Kurt's family. I couldn't believe Kurt still had that cat. She was a funny little creature. You could often see her on the rooftops, chasing birds, I guess. Ha <laughs> 
Hey, Kurt. Schön, dich zu sehen. Heute ist mein letzter Tag. Morgen muss ich zurück. Henriette hat mir von meinem Bruder erzählt. Unfassbar, dass er nicht mehr da ist. Jetzt mache ich mir nur noch Sorgen um meine Familie. Wir schaffen das doch, oder? Kurt, ich habe Klaus das von seinem Bruder erzählt. War das richtig? Jetzt ist er völlig verzweifelt. Gebrochen. Hätte ich nur nichts gesagt. Aber ich danke dir, Kurt, dass du uns die Wahrheit gesagt hast. Kurt, ich habe das von Dr. Siegfried Jung und Klaus Bruder gehört. So viel Leid, so wenig Freude. Wann ist das alles denn endlich vorbei? Hoffentlich bringst du mir eines Tages gute Neuigkeiten über meinen Gregor. Die Kopfwunde meines Sohnes. Er sieht so anders aus. Dr. Siegfried hat sein Bestes getan. Aber mein Sohn kann in keinen Spiegel sehen. Vielleicht kann der Doktor Luzi helfen. Hast du ihn gefragt? Wir nehmen heute keine Patienten auf. Gut, wie schön, dich wiederzusehen. Dieser Krieg. Zumindest wurde Jonas anständig begraben. Dank dir, Kurt. Jonas hat uns vielleicht verlassen, aber deine Tochter ist noch bei uns. Diese Pflanze könnte helfen. Koch sie in Wasser, gib Blut sie den Sud zu trinken. Entschuldige mich, Kurt. Ich möchte allein sein. Viel Glück, mein Freund. Now I could take care of Lucy. I could work on my plan for Harry. It was then Kurt showed me his plan. Seemed like he wanted to build a balloon. At the time, I had no idea why. A real hot air balloon. And he wanted my help. Come here, Tari. I sure hoped Kurt knew what he was doing. Alles kommt Keine wieder Sorge, Kurt. Das schaffe ich schon allein. All das mit dem Vogel.
Der Vogel liegt wohl nach was Wäsche. The inn opened its doors to the public. I knew Kurt was looking for a barrel. This was good timing. But would they let me in? I was the enemy after all. Da kommst du nicht rein. Und hier gibt's nichts für dich. Was machst du hier? Ich sagte, raus! Ich kann nicht glauben, dass von meinem Sohn nur noch eine Uniform bleibt. Ich halte es nicht mehr aus. Ich kann nicht mehr. Kein Kämpfen mehr. Keine Waffen. Bitte, lieber Gott. Vor dem Krieg konnte ich immer schlafen. Das ist vorbei. Was passiert, wenn wir einfach nicht zurückgehen? Ich lasse dich nicht gehen, Oskar. Hörst du? Du gehst nie wieder zurück. Immer mit der Ruhe, Mutter. Wir haben eine ganze Woche zusammen. Schön, dich wiederzusehen, Kurt. Ich hoffe, Luzi geht's besser. Ich mag mir gar nicht vorstellen, wie das so ist, wenn man seine Kinder nicht beschützen kann. In Zeiten wie diesen... The innkeeper sure seemed good at talking, and Kurt gave him someone to talk to. The perfect distraction. Mal von deiner Katze, Kurt. Das heißt, du hast sie im Niemandsland gefunden. Unglaublich. Eins muss ich ihr lassen. Sie hat echt Glück. Ich habe das von deiner kleinen Luzi gehört, Kurt. Hoffentlich geht's ihr bald besser. Der Sohn eines Mannes in Dornhahn war auch krank. Er hat sich komplett erholt. Ich habe das von deiner kleinen Luzi gehört, Kurt. Hoffentlich geht's ihr bald besser. Der Sohn eines Mannes in Dornhahn war auch krank. Er hat sich komplett erholt. Hast du das vom Roten Baron gehört, Kurt? Eine echte Tragödie. Das heißt, er hätte Hunderte abgeschossen. Die Tommys haben ihn angeblich mit militärischen Ehren bestattet. Remember, I had no idea what was going on. What use did Kurt have for a balloon? But whatever I said on the long walk home, Kurt's response was always the same. He pointed toward the sky. So that is what happened, Katrin. I took these things from the village. I made a plan to help the man who I believed to be a hero. To repay my debt for the time he saved my life. And for the time he sent Allied intelligence to help me. I wanted to build a balloon for him. I wanted to send him home. To set him free.
imagined any German would kill me as soon as look at me. And I guess that's because of the stories I was told, you know? To folks back home, he would have been an evil Hun. But he was also a father. He was also a husband. And he was also my friend. But I was too quick to trust the Canadian, too quick to call him a friend. I see now how foolish I've been. I see now I was wrong. But Kurt wanted to build a balloon, and I think he meant to build it for me. Something was wrong. My daughter didn't normally call out like that. She didn't make a fuss. I thought maybe there'd been an accident and he needed my help. It never occurred to me that I'd done anything wrong. It just never occurred to me. That is er. Das ist er. Das ist mein Sohn. Und du hast dieses Bild gemacht. Du warst dort! Ist er tot? Du Mörder! I was as surprised as Kurt. I didn't know who Max was. It's like the picture of his son triggered something in him. Flipped a switch. He could see it in his eyes. Before we knew it, he packed up early, went back to war, and took a bunch of my photos with him. Germany is interested only in its final push on the Western Front. They believe they can take Paris. <laughs> I've not come here for Paris. By chance, I've been reunited with Franz. I haven't seen him since Vimy. France is built for war. Cold and detached, he sees the Tommy as vermin. I never used to understand him, but I do now. He will be a valuable ally. He has agreed to help me find the man in the picture. So that was it. Kurt left. Me? I resolved to build that balloon. I didn't know if I could do it without Kurt but I knew I had to try. It was a long shot, 
but I didn't want to spend the rest of my life in Germany. And back home, there was Julia. So I'd build that balloon. Truth be told, there was not much else I could do. I was always grateful to Katrine. Even after everything that happened, she let me stay in the house. Maybe she just liked the company. I don't know. I helped in whatever way I could, and the three of us kind of fell into a routine. Danke, Harry. Du bist nicht wirklich ein Feind, oder, Harry? That day, the postman gave me a letter. And for once, it wasn't from Julia. The postmark was from Newport, in Belgium. Ein Brief für Harry Lambert. Harry, my boy, it took me forever to track you down. I've thought of you often since Passchendaele. And I'm sorry, Harry, for everything. For dragging you into this war, for leaving you there. I swore to protect you and I failed. An officer is only as good as his men. And you are the finest of men, Harry. If you'll take one final order from your old major, it's this. Go home, Harry. The first chance you get, go home to your girl. You've got the uniform now. I know it's the only reason you joined. She'll love it. With respect and friendship, Barrett. Wir müssen über die Brücke, bevor sie gesprengt wird, Kurt! As we move against the Allies, as everyone focuses on the attack, I focus on one thing. I focus on the man in the picture. I will find him for you, Katrin. And I will find the truth. Vielleicht kommt auf der anderen Frequenz noch mehr über die Alliierten. Major. Last time I saw him was when the shell hit at Passchendaele. I couldn't believe he survived it. <laughs> I guess what they said in the trenches was true. The war just couldn't kill him. Work on the balloon was slow. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing.
was von Papa gehört? Du und Papa bleibst für immer Freunde, das weiß ich. Danke, Harry. Noch keine Nachricht von Kurt heute. Ich versuche mir keine Sorgen zu machen. Sie braucht ihren Vater. Sie muss wissen, dass er in Sicherheit ist. Ich weiß nicht, was wir ohne sie machen würden, Harry. Ich hoffe, Kurt verzeiht mir, dass ich sie hier im Haus behalte. Yes. Great. I barely even understood Kurt's plans, but he did, wherever he was. Dear Catherine, the offensive of Paris failed. We are forced to retreat to Germany. Yet today, I made progress for the first time. I know his name now. nach den Kanadiern? Da hinten haben wir einen zurückgelassen. Die Tommies haben Scharfschützen in diesem Gebiet. Geh lieber nicht weiter. Every Canadian I capture either claims ignorance or simply misunderstands. They all look at me as, a, as if I'm some kind of madman. But this one understood. And this one recognized the man in the picture. Kill me! I'm 
are no threat to you. Is that Major Barrett? I don't know where he is, I swear. Barrett, Katrin. His name is Barrett. I daydreamed a lot back then. If I could finish that balloon, I thought, maybe somehow I could escape. Maybe somehow I could get back to Julia. Foto sehen, Harry? Wunderschön. Ich wünschte, wir hätten vor seiner Abreise ein Bild mit Kurt gemacht. Mm. Yes. Darf ich das Foto sehen, Harry? Ich will nicht, dass der Krieg aufhört, weil du dann nach Hause fährst. Du und Papa sind noch Freunde, oder? As the months went by, Katrine kept me updated about Kurt. She'd point to maps to show me where he was, explain as best she could. <sighs> Kurt sure didn't give up easy. Kurt! Das ist ihr Übersetzer! Was für ein Glück! Bring ihn zum Reden, Kurt! Der hier versteht jedes Wort. Was wollen Sie denn von mir? Bitte, ich habe einen Sohn. Ich habe das Foto noch nie gesehen. Das schwöre ich. Moment, das ist doch Major Barrett. Sind Sie hinter dem Herr? Er weiß etwas. Man sieht's an seinen Augen. Angeblickt ist er durchgedrecht. Er würde abgezogen. Droh ihm, Kurt. Er hat Angst. Er 
Er ist jetzt am Meer stationiert, in Newport. Mehr weiß ich nicht. He is in Newport, Katrin. And I will find him. I will find Barrett. It's only a matter of time. Katrine showed me the letter. Kurt's search for Barrett had led him to the Belgian coast. He'd found him. Whatever Kurt's plan was, it wasn't going to end well. And Katrine knew it. She begged me to save her husband. I didn't know if I could find Kurt. Hell, didn't know if I wanted to. But I did have the balloon. And one crazy idea. I suppose they will call me a deserter now. <laughs> But I never cared for this war anyway. I, I only ever cared for Max, our son, my, my boy. Katrine gave me a map of Europe and Kurt's old hunting rifle. I don't know which one of us was more surprised that the balloon even floated. I flew all night in that balloon. Don't know how, but I got there. I was back at war. You can't see the war from the ground, because on the ground, you are the war. I'll never forget that moment, because in that moment, I truly understood what I'd been a part of. But I was tired and I needed sleep. I barely knew which way was up anymore. What the hell was I even doing here? Maybe Kurt found Barrett days ago. Hell, maybe Kurt was already dead. I know you think I've changed. Perhaps you, perhaps you even think I'm mad. But I did what I had to do for our family, Katrin. And I found him. I found Major Barrett. Boy, what are you doing here, filthy Fritz? Nearly the armistice, anyhow. You lost, Fritz. You lost. Ah, Miller. More wine. I thought I was here to take photographs, sir. You are here to get me wine. That's an order. Yes, sir. How many, I wonder? How many lives lost under Major Barrett's command? They were just boys. Crushed. They were just children. I sent better men than me to their deaths. I robbed better men than me of their sons. But it's over now. It's over. No more. Enough.
Did I even want to save a man who didn't trust me? To him, I wasn't a friend. To him, I was the enemy now. A true friend would have heard me out. A true friend wouldn't have assumed the worst. I always thought if you cared about someone, that was unconditional, right? Miller! Wine! Yes, sir! Coming, sir! Photograph the armistice, he said. You'll be famous, he said. All I'm doing is fetching wine for an alcoholic. He was a good photographer, that Harry. A good lad. I should never have brought him into all this. I hope you made it home to your girl, Harry. To your old life. Fritz awakes, I see. I would apologize for knocking you out, Fritz, but... Well, I'm just not sorry. But I am curious about these little souvenirs of yours. So many German casualties must be quite painful to look at. That's what you get for starting a war, I suppose. It's over now, Fritz. <laughs> you lost. Du hast mir meinen Sohn genommen. Come on, Fritz. Give me something to work with here. What else have we got here? How did you get this picture? Are you a spy or something? Es interessiert mich ein Dreck, was du sagst. Genau wie deine Fotos. Einen Dreck. Was hast du mit meinem Sohn gemacht? You should try opening up more, Fritz. I sense a lot of pent-up aggression. Let's try another. Hang on a second. These look an awful lot like pictures taken by a friend of mine. These are Harry Lambert's photos. What did you do to him? I'm listening, Fritz. Du, du kennst ihn. Das Name ich nicht mehr ausspreche. Er widert mich an, genau wie du. Er hat gesehen, wie sie meinen Sohn gefangen hielten und nichts getan, nichts. So, there I was, right before the armistice. Mid-air, in a homemade balloon. I was free up there. Free to choose. Did I risk my life for a man who hated me? Or live the life I always imagined? Share my photos with the world? Go home. This is you in this picture. What the hell happened? Did you kill him? Is he dead? Answer me! If I found out you hurt Harry, 
you will beg me to kill you quickly. <laughs> ich bin nicht hier über ihn zu sprechen. Es ist mir egal, wie du mir egal bist. Ich bin deinetwegen hier. Ich will dich, Major Barrett. Oh. He knows my name. Ha <laughs> ha! This just keeps getting better. Ja, ich kenne deinen Namen. Und ich kenne diesen Harry. Ich kenne euch. Ist er dein Sklave, dein Lakai? Hilft er dir für Ruhm und Ehre, Unschuldige zu töten? Ist doch schlimmer als du. Er ist ein Feigling. Ein Feigling mit einer Kamera, der glaubt, er wäre ein Held. You are the finest of men, Harry. I cannot bear the thought of a world without I love you, now and always. Go home, man. The first chance you get. Go home to your girl. Last picture, Fritz. So what about this one? Found this one in your inside pocket. What's so special about it, Fritz? Hang on a minute. That's me. Now you've really got my attention. And who's this young fellow I'm threatening? Finger, finger weg von dem Bild. Finger weg, du Mörder! Du. <laughs> oh, Fritz! I have no idea what you're saying. You should never have come here, Fritz. You see, to me, you're just one last little bit of war left to fight. We're moments away from peace, you and I. Funny, in a way. How about a photo? For posterity. You understand? I'll get the camera. Lose not. Drunkard. I do not remember it clearly, but I escaped and I ran. <laughs> I made up my mind. I had a friend. And he needed my help. I wanted to help Kurt, but for all I knew, he'd kill me. So I let the pigeon go. I wasn't far away now, and the bird had found Kurt before. I hope she bird had found Kurt before. I hope she would again. But first, I had to land, and I hadn't thought that far ahead. I survived, and I thought I'd heard gunshots. I had no idea if Kurt was nearby. But if he'd found Barrett, he wouldn't be safe. I had to hurry.
Barrett was determined and relentless. I knew he would not give up until he found me. For a fleeting moment, I almost respected him. Almost. I hadn't heard it for over a year, but I'd recognize that voice anywhere. At first, they were just two figures in the distance. But the closer I got, the clearer it all became. I think perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. It was Barrett, all right, and Kurt had found him. Hiding is not one of your strengths, I see. What was your plan, just out of interest? You come here, you find me. What then? You don't even speak English. What were you planning to do? Well, well, well. Harry? Harry Lambert? What the hell are you doing here? Hi. His name is Kurt. Please, sir, just do what he says. Wait. What? So you do know this, Fritz? Kurt, put the gun down. We can sort this out. Ah, oh, jetzt richtest du eine Waffe auf mich. Du bist wie er. Genau wie Barrett. Du bist wie alle. I'm impressed, Fritz. Looks like you still have some fight left in you. I came here to save you, Kurt! Don't do this! Du... Du hast mich verraten. Du hast von Max gewusst und nichts gesagt. Say what you want about the Jerry. But they are persistent. All right. Okay. Lower the gun. And we'll talk. Kurt, it's over. Can't you see? Look around you. Und, und ich hab dich mal für meinen Freund gehalten. Can everyone put their guns down so I can figure out what the hell is going on? Did you kill that prisoner back in Vimy? I don't remember, Harry. What's the German for probably? Ich muss wissen, was mit meinem Sohn passiert ist. Mit meinem Sohn. Mit Max. Hörst du? Max. Looks like Sohn. reinforcements have arrived, Harry. Real soldiers. Don't do this. Just tell him his son's alive, sir, and we can all go home. Er war mein Junge. We've all lost people we love. All of us. Er fehlt mir. So, that was it. The Major never forgave me. I lost everything. They called me a traitor. A Fritz lover. A yellow. They still do. They spared me, Katrin. But I still wonder if I should have killed Barrett. It's a burden I will have to live with. What happened to Max goes unpunished. Word spread, 
even here back home. Taylor won't let me back in the store. Julia won't speak to me. No doubt they will praise him for his heroism. <laughs> but, Catherine, we know the truth. We know who he really is. They will not keep me for much longer. Please tell Lucy. I'm sorry. I will be home soon. We gotta understand. I couldn't shoot him. He was my friend. Thank you.